Have you ever created a design in Canva and thought, you know what, this would be great as an Instagram post, or I wish I could make this an Instagram story, or I wish I could make this into a lead magnet or a flyer or a postcard or anything at all, but that just feels like so much effort and I just don't have the time to make all these different sizes. Well, my friends, the Canva Magic Resize feature is so underrated and such a game changer if you are producing multiple pieces of content and you're ready to work smarter and not harder. So let's learn how to do it properly. And I wanna make sure you watch to the end because there's a difference between just resizing a whole document and resizing a particular page. And if you don't know how to do both, you're going to be leaving a lot of potential on the shelf. So let's dive in. So hello, if we have not met before, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie Norton and I am a graphic designer who is obsessed with helping everyday business owners utilize programs like Canva, utilize design strategically so that they can start growing their business instead of just feeling frustrated and not showing up like the business they want to be and attracting the clients they want to attract. So this tutorial is really about making sure that we're working smarter and not harder and not just reinventing the wheel when we already have so many of the things that we need and we just need to do a few tweaks instead. And make sure you stick around to the very end because I will show you a free workaround to what I'm going to share with you because this is a Canva Pro feature. Obviously the Pro version is going to work a lot easier, a lot faster and a lot more less glitchy but there is like if you're really desperate to, to do this I want to share with you a bit of a workaround if you only have Canva free. And if you would like to try out Canva Pro I have a link in the description below so make sure you take a look at that because if you're a business owner investing in something like Canva is just a really smart business choice. Tax write-off, all the things, saving you time, saving you money, highly recommend it. So let's dive into Canva. So at the moment I have just got open a plain design. Now if you are a regular here you'll notice my Canva Canva is a lot larger and I worked out how to make it bigger. For so long I've been designing and it's quite small around the edges and it made it hard for you guys to see. So I fixed that, you're welcome. Better late than never. Um, so right here, I've got a presentation slide open. And say, for example, this was a webinar I wanted to do. It is actually a webinar that you can watch. Link in the description below. It's a very good webinar. And this webinar needs promoting. Everything that we do usually needs to show up in multiple contexts. You can take what I'm going to share and apply it to whatever you're doing, but I'm going to take it and apply it to, for example, an Instagram post. I love posting to Instagram. And so I want to advertise this otherwise no one's going to come so to do that one option is for me to go to this resize button at the top here if I click on resize here it's going to give me again this is just a Canva Pro feature if it's going to give me a ton of options of sizes so it's got suggested options here so Instagram story another dimension here and Instagram ad these are often sizes that you might have done in the past if you've done this before or just it's recommended then you've obviously also got browse by category so in here we can choose different preset sizes so if I was going to do social media I could click on social media I might toggle across to Instagram and I can see Instagram post and I can select that and so in the same way you can go to presentation slides or print sl sizes or website sizes and press more if you want to find even more and you can even go to custom size here and type in your own dimensions now on that right now what's showing right here is the dimensions that it currently is now say for example I just wanted to make this smaller like maybe you've made a really great graphic but you've realized it's either too small or too big and you need to change it but you want to keep the exact size it is the way that you would do that is by clicking on this little lock aspect ratio button and when I do that it's going to change both sizes at the same time so say for example I wanted this to be 800 pixels wide if I type in here 800 you can see that it then changes the height to be 450 because it's keeping the same ratio it's making it from, it's going from large and making it smaller but in the same ratios as it was initially created in so that's just a really helpful thing to know if you are just needing to make the same thing larger or smaller I'm going to hit back now and show you down the bottom here we also have magic switch which offers different translation or transforming it into a document so if you want to take like my presentation slides and make it into a document this is a place that you can do that as well now you can obviously choose your sizing so say for example I choose an Instagram post you can also resize multiple graphics at one time so I could choose Instagram's post I might also choose Instagram story I might then toggle over here and think oh, I also want to make this into a postcard and I can check all of those at once you can see down here it says three sizes selected and so it's got those three sizes that I've just selected and I can get them to go and now before you press resize there are a couple things we need to know and look at firstly you have the option to resize not every single page this document for example my slide deck here is 98 pages if I'm just wanting to resize the cover page to a different size I don't want to resize all the pages that's going to firstly take a long time and secondly just be really annoying so I'm going to click on this little drop down of pages and I can choose to tick this all pages option and it's going to unselect all of the pages or I can tick it to reselect all the pages and I could choose current page or I can go through and select the current page that I want so I want to do page uh, two here because that's the page I want to do I'm going to hit done and that's then going to resize that page into these three designs now there's two more options that we need to decide on next and that is copy and resize or resize this design so resize this design is going to take this presentation slide design and resize it to being the sizes that I want 
it's not going to keep that original size. So for me, for example, because I'm repurposing something, I want to keep that original document and then create additional sizes. Or however, if you were, like say you designed a flyer that was a DL size, a skinny kind of flyer, but you realized you wanted it to be a postcard size, you might just want to fully resize the design to suit the new size you wanted to create. So choose the setting you want there. I'm going to press copy and resize because I want to keep my original document because I am still running this masterclass. So when I press copy and resize, it's going to take some time to go through that. The longer your document is, the more pages it is, the more things you want to resize to, the longer this will take. So please be patient with it because what it's going to do is rejig the elements in your design to suit these new layouts. And so you can see here now that I've done that, it's told me I've saved this to a little folder that I've made. It's made a new folder for me called my file name. And then it's got in brackets, resized November, 2025. And so it's got that there for me. It's then got the different size graphics. And if I want to open them, I can just press open designs or I can hit on one design in particular if you've done multiple ones like me and open up one at a time. So if I click on that little arrow, it's going to open up this design like so. Now just a side tip for you, if you ever have your design open up in like a timeline look down here and you're not making a video, you can toggle on this duration button down the bottom and it will change that to more of a page design. Sometimes Instagram stories get made into videos. I'm not sure why they have that as a default. I don't know many people that make Instagram story videos, but it's there for you uh, as an option. So now you can see it's kind of tried to resize. It stretched my background out to being larger and it's kind of changed the design a little bit. The tricky part about this design in particular is it doesn't actually bode well to being resized. So I'm going to have to do some manual resizing. And so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. Before I do that, I'm going to open up my other two designs. So I've got the Instagram post size, which again is stretched out the background and done the design nicely there for me. And I've also got my postcard size, which doesn't look too bad because it's also a landscape ratio. If you were doing the size here that was just a smaller version of what you already had and keeping the ratio exactly, then you would have to do pretty much no tweaking here because it would all go down perfectly. The only thing you'd have to look at, say for example, if I was just making this into a postcard, but the postcard was the exact same size, you need to make sure that you're testing the text size. So if I click on this now, this is size 33, but if if this was a lot smaller, so if I go go to my, po my, po my postcard here, this is size 9.8. I definitely wouldn't want to go smaller than about nine for some text on things like a postcard. So just making sure that you're double checking the final sizing of text when you have resized, especially making things smaller. So let's go and do the trickiest one first. So for me, that's going to be the Instagram stories. Now make sure you hang around. I'm going to show you how to easily resize one page at a time in a different way. I'm also going to show you the free workaround to this. So I'm going to zoom in here and just move things around. So look at your design and think, can I restructure things to make it work? And so for this one here, it's really quite straightforward. I'm going to grab this text here and put it on top, grab my photo, put it down the bottom. To grab multiple things at once, I can actually just click and drag. So I'm holding down my click and it's selecting all of those elements at once. I can also select multiple elements by going to the position button and toggling across to layers. So arrange and layers. Uh, and so I can then click on this and I can select, I hold down shift and select multiple things at once if I wanted to. So now I've got all of these together because I held down shift on my keyboard at the same time. So I'm going to grab all of these and move them on top. And this probably looks a little bit too small in this space. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Make sure that's centered and also just center my text a little bit there. Next, I'm gonna grab my image. For me, this is actually two images. I've got me on top that's cut out and also a version of the background because that was the style I wanted. So I'm gonna actually have to change this a little bit to suit this angle. I could leave it just like this, to be honest with you, but I really liked how that was sitting at the side in what I had. So I'm gonna make it sit at the bottom of this design. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna use that a bit later. I'm gonna grab this and kind of expand it out because I do have more image here. If you don't have more image, some options for you just to kind of show you while I'm here. You can go to edit when you've selected on the photo and you could use some special AI features. So if I go to Magic Studio here and scroll across, there is an option called Magic Expand and this pretty much uses AI to create more image. So say for example, I wanted some more image on this side and I wanted some more image on this side. I can stretch my markers out and then press expand and AI is going to look at this and think, you know what? I'm going to extend the balls and I'm going to extend her arm, hopefully. This can be very, very much hit and miss. I've had some weird results happen, but this one's kind of okay. My hand's doing a slightly weird thing, but you can see I've give, I'm given four options and I can just go through those. I'm going to do maybe this one for now and I might crop it a little bit more. So I'm going to hit done and I could make this a little bit larger to kind of suit and kind of crop my hand out a little bit there. But you can kind of see how it's coming together. Now I'm gonna do it so my head is kind of popping out from the top of the image. So I'm gonna grab my overcut overlay image here and make that a little bit larger. 
um, so it's the same size as that version I had originally. So usually to make sure these line up properly, just as an extra sub hack, I just put the transparency down of the top image and I just resize it and move it around until it's sitting on top really nicely. Depending on how much time I have, I sometimes get it perfect, sometimes I don't. For this tutorial, I'm not going to sit around for too long because I am conscious of you're watching me, um, but it kind of looks all right for now. So I'm going to just bring this text down a little bit. And maybe I need to make this a little bit larger because this is quite small for an Instagram story. So I might make this a bit narrower here and make this text box larger just to make sure it's suiting the new space that I'm designing for. So always considering the end output and if what you're making is actually the right size for that, not just resizing it just for funsies. So let's go then go to my Instagram post. I would then do the same thing. To be honest, I could even um, resize this design and redo it across. So I would go through and I would redo this image. In fact, I'll just delete this one now, to be honest. And I'll grab this. and I'll paste in that version of me that's new and I'll pop me down the bottom here. And then I can again, grab my text here, put it on top, make sure it's nice and large. Not too large though. People often go either too large or too small often, but this is like a nice level and this is readable size text for Instagram. So that one's all done as well. Again, you would think through the context where this is showing up. So say for example, I might wanna put on here because this was the actual title of the masterclass, I didn't need things like free webinar because if someone was there, they knew it was a free webinar. So also thinking about the end output, like do I need to write on here free webinar? So say for example, I'll, I'll add in a new text box and just write free webinar. To add in that text box just then, I pressed T on my keyboard as a shortcut and it just popped on up. My free, write free webinar here, go to effects, Let's curve that text a little bit, maybe make it all caps. Maybe space out my letters just a smidgen. Make my text white, make this a bit smaller. And I can pop that up there just like so. And that just makes that design make more sense in this context. And then lastly, we have our postcard. So obviously this is quite similar to the size I originally made. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me. So I'm just gonna grab my image here and make that a little bit larger off to the side. Bring me, bring me across a little bit so I'm not being weirdly cut off. And then I might move this up a little bit so it's not getting too cramped. And then I might make this a little bit taller and longer to kind of suit the space that I have available to me. Lovely. And I could choose again to add in more information if I wanted to, depending on what this postcard and its purpose was. Now I want to show you how you can click on one page at a time and resize really quickly that way. So all you need to do is when you're inside your Canva, instead of going up to this top resize option, I'm going to go down the bottom. So down the bottom, you'll see I have all the different pages that I've got. If you don't have this view, you can hover over this pages button. And if I click on this, it's going to change it to the scrolly view. So you've got the scrolly view option or the thumbnail view option. I personally love thumbnail view, but you can do this hack from both directions. I personally love this thumbnail view. So what I'm going to do on here is click on my page and go to these little three dots. When I click on these three dots, you can see I've got the option down the bottom here to resize the page. If I click on resize page, it gives me these options and it's just going to resize that one page for me. So I might click on Instagram story. And it's just copying and resizing that page in quite a quick way. And you can see what it's done is instead of creating a new design, it's added that design directly into my design already. Because Canva now facilitates multi-size pages inside one design, I've now got that there, which is really great for workflow because sometimes I design like all my Instagram posts, all my stories, all my postcards, all my slides, all in one design. So it's all accessible really quickly and easily. Or if you wanted this in a fresh design, you would use that initial method that I taught you. And so I could then go in and move this picture around and go and do the exact same method I taught you earlier, depending on what you wanted and making sure you're resizing it and rejigging everything according to its final output. And so what happens if you don't have Canva Pro and you are just a Canva free user? There used to be a really easy workaround where you could copy and paste a design into a different size design and it would work. But now the Canva's offering multi-size pages in one design. This hack no longer works. It just pastes that different size in. So the work, the only workaround that I found, unfortunately, is to kind of remake the design, but it doesn't take as long as you think. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a quicker way now. So say, for example, what I want you to do if you wanted to resize a design, say I wanted to do um, this page as an Instagram story, I would go to file, create new design, and I would choose that new size. So whatever that is, choose that updated size. I'm going to go to social media and choose on Instagram post. And that's going to open me up a new tab with a new design in it. And if I wanted to make my design appear in here in the different size. I'm actually just going to go to my original design, click on my page while I'm inside thumbnail view, right click and press copy. I'm then going to go over to my new design and then just press control or command V to paste it in. And it's pasted in that design. Now you can see it's not in the size that I wanted it to be. It's in that presentation side size. But having this here makes this process a lot easier. So firstly, I want to put the background across. So I'm going to click on the background here, press control V on my keyboard or command if you're on Mac, control, control V, paste, done. Grab the image, control C, control paste. Grab my text in that selection version I've just showed you earlier, 
click, drag, click, drag, select all those options, control C, control V, paste. And now I've pretty much already got everything here ready for me. I can just resize it and rejig it however I need to do. And so obviously it takes a couple of extra steps and obviously that will change depending on the complexity of your design. But in essence, I would just copy select multiple parts at a time, copy and paste them across, arrange them, and then you're, you're pretty much good to go. It's not as easy as Canva Pro, but it is a workaround that does work. And again, if you are a business owner, please consider investing in Canva Pro. I can guarantee that between all the workarounds you're trying to find and the professionalism your graphics will have, it's definitely worth the investment if you are planning on growing your business. So I hope you found that useful. If you are looking for more help with this, if you're looking for some more Canva hacks or you're looking to work out why your designs just aren't looking right, like what are you actually missing? I have a free masterclass. It's called Design Tools to 100K. It's exactly what I've been showing you today. Um, and inside there, I'm going to go through tons of incredible information totally for free so that you can speed up your process in Canva, start making more incredible graphics to get you more sales in your business so that you can use use programs like Canva as your design tool to make 100k and more in your business instead of just kind of fluffing around and not knowing what's not working. So make sure you join me for that. The links are in the description or on the screen now and I hope to see you there. Now if you are new to the channel make sure that you hit subscribe and hit like if you enjoy this content. If you've got any requests through just pop me in the comments and I will keep my eye there in case you have any tutorial requests. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week for another tutorial. Bye!